lips. A cacophony of voices woke me from half slumber. Crucify him, they cried, their uproar ringing through the misty dawn air. Surely another criminal was facing justice. A man stumbled under the weight of a cross that he carried through the cold streets, destined for a gruesome fate at Golgotha. The mob following him mocked him, spit upon him, and beat him mercilessly. I followed them, curious as to the deeds that he must have committed that had cursed him to die in this way, deeds surely far worse than anything I had ever done. He had every right in the world to hurl curses upon his persecutors, to cry out to God to bring his fist down upon them. But like a lamb before slaughter, he remained silent. At the top of the hill, they nailed him to his cross and erected it. He hung there naked, friendless, helpless, gasping for breath which would not come. But through blood-stained lips, he managed to call out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I fell to my knees. Surely this man was blameless, beaten, bruised, and broken for a crime he didn't commit. The nails which scarred his hands and the thorns which pierced his brow should have been mine. And as I wept at his feet and my tears mingled with his blood, he whispered, child, your sins have been forgiven. Mm. Oh God, did he know who I was? Did he know what I had done? that every day of my life I had cursed the very name of the God he cried out to. I possessed a wicked soul, rotten to the very core of my being, and yet he took pity on me. I couldn't bear to see the pain behind his eyes as he cried, tormented, Father, why? Why have you forsaken me? Finally, with his last breath, he yelled, It is finished. The whole world shook like it might swallow us all, as if it too were anguished at the death of this man. He was taken from his cross and buried in a borrowed tomb, but three days later, the word around town was that he had come back. Somehow, despite his brutal murder, despite death itself, he had returned. To this day, I am beyond blessed by his grace. Some may call me insane for believing in fairy tales and myths, but they do not understand that truly there is no greater love than this. Thank you. Mm.